Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and today we're going to be playing Six Flags Holland. Try your hand at running and improving this Six Flags park. Your objective to have at least 3,500 guests in your park at the end of October. Year 4 with a park rating of at least 600. Fairly straightforward then. We've already got 1,300 guests in the park so we only need another 2,200 to complete it and we've got 4 years to do it. So we've already got the outline of the park i'm not i'm not familiar with any of the six flags parks so i won't be able to fill in any blanks i'll be just making my own rides as i see fit we are yep we're charging for admission so i think the first thing i'm going to do now i'll put this up to 40 we can review that later but i think that's always a fair amount to start with an issue that we've had in the other six flags parks is the par then it's very complicated um, for a game like this where the AI isn't very clever. Um, there's lots of it like this now, this section here. I don't know if that's going to cause any problems. Um, like For example, there's bound to be guests trying to get from there up here. But we, we can address that if and when the problems arise. Maybe guests this side trying to get over to there or probably more likely guests here trying to get over to there and they'll try and go straight along so one thing i'm going to do to begin with is i am going to go and simplify the par then but before we do that let's have a look at the rides then we got some transport rides to begin with loads of gentle rides loads of coasters loads of thrill rides loads of water rides and plenty of shops we got a cash point that'll be handy um okay so i think what we'll do for research is we'll just put the research onto maximum and we'll leave it as it is because there's nothing really that i i need we've got more than what we could probably use we could probably switch research off but um we'll just see what unlocks so as i said the first thing i'm going to do then is i'm going to sort out some of the par then like for example these bits that are sticking out there i'm going to get rid of that straighten some of the bits off um maybe connect some areas which aren't connected like for example just next to that burger stall i can run a path up to this section there that way it'll stop guests getting lost up that section um another thing that i did on the other six flags parks which made me a lot of money was merchandising the existing rides so for example after these roller coasters on the exits i'll put a load of balloon stalls hat stalls t-shirt stalls etc do I'll, I'll i'll put them to the same color as the rides i mean it doesn't really make any difference to the guests but um i like the way that um it's color coordinated and um, that'll make me a load of cash as well maybe extend some of the paths and separate the exits from the paths as well so what i'll do is it's just a quick tidy up um there is a nice space either side of the entrance here for some for some cheap and cheerful rides so i think what we'll do we'll tidy up spam some shops and see if we can start the ball rolling on shop sales it is july year one so i've put down loads of merchandise shops then um i've sorted out some of the paths and i've built some cheap and cheerful so this is my loops design as a tutorial in the tutorial section for this and i've got it on the looping coaster and i've also got the same thing on the giga coaster as well it's exactly the same design um the only difference is because this hasn't got a launch mode i've set it on continuous circuit mode and i've set the number of circuits to three so what will happen is it'll go up it'll come back through the station at the back and then it'll do that a few times as well so we're just waiting for it to to go it's a little slow but that's fine the queue's big enough the guests aren't paying for each individual ride because they've already paid at the gate so that's fine at the end then i've got all the exits joined so they all come down one way let's wait for this there you go gear coaster stopped good excitement on that as well the ride time's a little slow but um compared to the looping coaster but um let's turn off scenery so i've got 
all the shops there so we've got a cat we've got a information kiosk there in the corner we've got cash point sunglasses gift shop t-shirts hats and balloons as well that'll get give us some extra pennies just forces a load of guests through there they're all going on the ride and then they're coming off and they're having to go past all these shops give us some extra cash so we're making some decent money on the entrance tickets and some decent money on the shop sales i think i'll do something similar the other side like down here now i've i've split the queue line and the exit path so i've got the queue line coming over this side and then on the exit path then i've got the merchandise stalls there I haven't done this one i'll have to do that one and uh, yeah so we're um not bad so far i'll just just uh keep plugging away i can't see us having too many issues with this one we've got almost two thousand guests and now uh, we're only a few months in so this should be a breeze it is october year one we've got 2300 guests in the park so we only need another 1200 to go so i've got my cutback design as a tutorial video on the tutorial section for this the, that video though it is on a corkscrew with powered launch but you can use it with any coaster that can do the corkscrew element this one I've set to two circuits so because this one's got like a reverse section so it takes it up backwards then it lets it go then it comes back and again and then Now the beauty of this even though it doesn't go through the photo section the guests can still buy a photo as well so i'm not sure why that one is oh there you go I haven't synchronized them silly me they know how long they've been waiting there so we're now fast forward just to sort them out i've done the same thing as the loops coasters this side where i've got the shops the merchandise shops there one thing i've done as well is i've added no entry signs just and i've put the i've put the uh, the canvas tents on the top just to hide them but i've got no entry signs after each and every shop what was happening was the guests were going to a shop buying something and then they'd come back and then they think about what they're going to do then they think about where they're going to go so what they were trying to do is they were trying to go to this coaster over here and they were walking backwards so they were walking back up here and they were getting stuck so now i've added the no entry signs if they buy something they have to go forward they can buy something else but then they have to go forward and each time they either make it they either stop and buy something from the shop or make a decision or they keep going forward but regardless they always end up having to come out of the queue line so we're making some good money again from the park entrance sales making over four thousand from the shop sales so we're getting to the point now where we can we can um, stop building cheap and cheerful coasters we can actually blow some big money on some cool coasters it is june year two and i have blown some money on hyper twister So these are always quite fun to build even though you can't do inversions and things like that on you can do some great sort of airtime hills and and twists and turns with them photo section brake run and back to the station i've split the stations so that lacked as an additional block brake system as well got four trains on this one so we've got good throughput good stats got the photo up to three pound and yeah the guests aren't buying loads but that that could be because they've already bought a photo 
on another ride but um yeah we've got 2800 guests in the park we're um we're doing well we only need another 700 guests to go and we'll do this quite simply another issue with the path in here so these guests they're trying to now this has only just happened because i've opened up an amazing hyper coaster or hyper twister um the guests are all trying to get there so they're trying to go over there in a straight line but they can't and i think what might be the issue is that on this car ride we've got as you can see they've got the wrong parvin so if we just fix that what'll happen now there you go still a few people uh, sorted that that's, that's corrected that so there you go the wrong pathing was used on this maybe that was done deliberately i don't know but that's fixed that issue there awesome mm, the twist as well i think the twist was giving us a problem where's the twist gone i can't find it that's the problem when you don't ah uh, there you go so we were having another problem we were having the same problem with the twist here so what i did is i rejigged the path and then i built this bridge leading from that section up here because the guests all wanted to come up here but they couldn't so i've built a nice bridge there and now they can come up it is october year two so those issues i had with the pathing earlier that caused my rating to tank and um, it caused some guests to leave but after i fixed that then it's uh the rating sorted itself out and the guests are coming back as well so we've got almost 3,000 guests in the park we've got another two years to get another 500 guests so we're going to do it quite simply i've got splash boats here so i like to with these i like to split the stations and have have the entrance station at the top that way the guests don't have to ride the boarding section all the way up to the top and because the exit's at the bottom this little section of track between the exit station and the entrance station isn't calculated on the ride stats so that's pretty cool one thing i like to do as well is with the drops you usually go drop down three and then go up two that way you get a nice you can get some nice speed on these nice continuous speed but you can also add some extra drops and extend the drop as well because effectively it's only dropping down one tile and there you go it goes back decent excitement on that as well fantastic yeah so two years to go we're gonna do this we're gonna do this quite easily hyper twister still popular anyway we've got plenty of cash let's go and blow it on something ridiculous it is october year three we've got over the target the target the scenario wants 3500 guests we've got just under 3600 so we've got a giga coaster here we have a booster launch so we can follow this now nothing too complex but the guests love it and then just over this side then the orange one i've built a flawless coaster again i've split the stations that acts as an extra block section and uh, helps throughput because you've got one train unloading one train loading as well there you go so i've got at the top then got a block break so that just enables another train to enter the section two large loops 
large cobra roll, barrel roll, turn around, through the photo section, up, brake section and back down. Good stats on that, guests loving it. Right, so we've got another year to go. I'm not really having any issues. Uh, we've already done the the target. We've already done the scenario. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fast forward it through the final year. Um, I'm going to do some little things like hiring handymen and, and um, sorting out like the sick and things like that on the paths. Uh, maybe having a, a quick look around for vandalism, that sort of thing. Anything that could affect my rating. But other than that, unless I get any issues, I'm just going to fast forward it and I'll see you this time next year. It is October year four. The scenario wanted three and a half thousand guests with a rating of 600. The rating's on maximum and we've got 3,758 guests in the park. The last year then, all I've done is fast forward it, tend into some little things like some sick and stuff I've found. But other than that, all I've done is fast forward because we'd already done the scenario goal. So I just wanted to get, get the scenario finished and then we can crack on with the next one then. So what I did when I first came in then is I corrected some of the paths, straightened some of them off, added some shops, stalls, toilets kiosks that sort of thing um added a lot of merchandising stalls near the existing rides that way then any guests that are going on the rides will come off and then they can buy some balloons hats glasses whatever after coming off them then added some more shops here there and everywhere um and then after that then what i did is i just put down some cheap and cheerful rides there all the exits are connected, so when the guests come off, they have to walk past all these shops. I later added some no entry signs just to ensure that the guests were all walking the right direction because they were trying to go backwards due to the pathfinding. Um, after that then, after those ones and, and the ones this side, the money started pouring in, so I was able to build something quite big and lovely so this hyper twister here good stats on that and then this giga coaster just here it's broken down typical <laughs> good good stats on this one no we did see it earlier we can have a quick look at it later when it's uh, when it's fixed, um, I spammed some some flat rides as well. Whilst we're going through it, just to just to help get the guests the guests ticking over, um, and then just up here, then we've got a splash boats and a flawless coaster. Good stats on these. Great capacity as well. So these really help get the guests off the park, get the guests off the paths. I did reduce the number of boats. I think when it started, it had about 25 boats on it. So I reduced it down. I think it was a 15. Yeah, cause when it um, when it started, the first boat was at the top and I like to set them on full load. Let's have a look at the sentence for that. There you go. Full load. I have got a maximum waiting time just to just in case it starts to rain or something and, and people don't join the queues that the people on there aren't stuck. What was happening was um, the last boat was around by here. So if people were on that boat, they could be waiting for a while if if there wasn't a steady supply of new guests coming in. So again, we've got the merchandise stalls just there. We were making loads of money off them. We're still making good money now. Every month, three, four thousand, something like that. Ticket sales have, have dwindled now. That's because I haven't really built anything for the last year or so. 
Um, so guests haven't really got much of an incentive to come in. Got loads of cash points around the parks. It's always good to to um, retain the guests that you've got as well. This is one of the pre-built log flumes. You can't you can't edit these, which is a shame. But um, so I would like to split the stations and things, but yeah, fairly fairly simple scenario really. Um, we had some issues with the parvin causing guests to get lost and stuck. And at one point that did affect my rating, but we managed to catch it fairly fairly quickly. I think the worst one was just over here. The parvin um, for the exit and the entrance was the wrong way round. So after I built the roller coaster, the hyper coaster, hyper twister coaster, because it was so amazing, um, because I am such such an amazing and yet modest coaster builder, um, the guests were all trying to get over that side, but um, they couldn't because obviously they were just getting stuck there. So I've swapped the paths around, added a no entry sign, and that sorted it out. There are still some just wandering around aimlessly. So I could probably fix that. Now we've got we've got plenty of time. I could if I add that there and add that there. Get rid of that. Delete that. Add that. That should fix it. They are still wandering around. It could be these, these lampposts and things. Yeah, there is, there are, build your own six flags, and we've done it. Stu, did I just type my name in? I did. I just spell my name wrong. I think I did. I think I just spelled my name wrong. Stu. Okay, um, that's embarrassing. So yeah, there are some um, build your own Six Flags scenarios on here as well. And um, so they're exactly the same, except there's no rides, no shops, nothing like that in them. Um, so I think what I do when I come to play those, I'll um, delete quite a bit of the parving before I begin. Um, and I think what I certainly will do is, is I'll cordon off large areas of the park and I'll sort out like the entrance areas build the rides and then open up other areas as well um, assuming I don't just get rid of everything to begin with so that was Six Flags Holland hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye